Hey there, AI enthusiasts. Welcome to our deep dive tutorial on deploying the DeepSeq R 1.5B large language model on your NVIDIA Jetson or in Nano Super, running Jetpack 6.2. Today, we're unleashing the power of Edge AI using two key tools. First, there's Olama, a versatile framework for managing and serving local language models, which we install natively for optimal performance. Then, we have OpenWeb UI, a slick chat GPT-like browser interface that makes it super easy to interact with your deployed models via Docker. Before we get started, here's what you'll need. First, your NVIDIA Jetson Orin Nano Super, running Jetpack 6.2 on an NVMe SSD for optimal performance, along with a stable internet connection. Next, make sure you have the latest Jetpack 6.2 as well as Olama for local LLM deployment and open web UI running via Docker. Finally, a basic familiarity with Linux commands will help you follow along smoothly. With these essentials in place, we're ready to power up some serious edge AI. Before we dive into the steps, here's a quick heads up. By the time of making this tutorial, running Olama inside a container in Jetson Device Force's inference to run on the CPU which is much slower compared to using the GPU. That's why we're installing Olama natively, so your GPU can handle inference and deliver dramatically faster performance. To begin, open your terminal on the Jetson device and run this command. It downloads and installs the Olama framework, placing it under the system's core directories. Once installed, the API becomes accessible locally. In case you're wondering, Olama is a versatile framework that helps manage and serve your local language models efficiently. Next, we deploy OpenWeb UI using Docker. This command pulls the latest OpenWeb UI image and runs it in detached mode. This ensures it communicates directly with our local Olama service. And for a quick tip, on future sessions, just type this short command to get it running again. Now that our backend is set up, Open your browser and head over to the local dashboard. Here, register your admin account by entering your name, email, and a password. Once you're logged in, simply type the following in the model selection box to download the 1.5 billion parameter model directly to your device. With the model downloaded, you're all set to start your chat session. Just type your questions into the chat interface and watch DeepSeek come to life. Time to see our model in action. Run the command you see on screen in your terminal to test performance. As you can observe, in power mode 0 at 15 watts, the model processes 16.40 tokens per second. When you boost it to 25 watts in power mode 1, it reaches 24.2 tokens per second. And finally, in max N mode, it maxes out at 27.47 tokens per second. Clearly, increasing the power setting boosts throughput significantly. Let's dive into what these numbers mean. In the chart you see here, the leftmost bar represents 15 watts, where you achieve 16.40 tokens per second. Ideal if you're aiming for energy efficiency or working in thermally constrained conditions. Next, notice the middle bar for 25 watts, where performance improves to 24.2 tokens per second striking a nice balance between power consumption and speed. Finally, the rightmost bar shows that in max N mode, your device reaches a peak performance of 27.47 tokens per second. Perfect for applications that demand maximum output. As you can see, each power mode offers a distinct advantage, allowing you to tailor performance based on your specific needs. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below with your thoughts or questions. We'd love to hear from you.